we want to match the function with its graph here. I already solved this problem in another session, but since we have a different group of students here today, so let's see if you all can help each other and tell me what would be the first step to solve it. Okay, let's see. We had one suggestion before I re start recording this. You want to repeat your suggestion once again, please? Um, to figure out if it opens up or down, and I figured that it opens down, so that automatically eliminates B and D. Okay, so uh, yes, uh, y is equal to a x squared plus b x plus c. This is the graph of parabola, and you look at, you can look at the coefficient of x squared a. If a is positive, you know our parabola can open upward. If it's negative, then the parabola would open downward. Just by looking at this coefficient, I know my parabola opens. Uh, downward, so my choices would be either A or or C so far. So I don't want I don't even have to look at B or D. All right, uh, if I can find the vertex, that would help me out to uh, locate which one of these would be the right graph. Can somebody tell me what would be the easiest way to locate the vertex here? Vertex. B of x, B of y. Anybody? Negative two over two times a. Okay. So to to solve the V of x, very good. So you you have, you have to know the formula. So minus B over two a. Very good. So can you continue? Tell me what would be the V of x, x position of the vertex then? What is B in this case? Negative four. Negative four. C is five. Five. Okay. So let's plug the number here, and you tell me what what do we get for v of x? Negative four here. Five. So that would be equal to what? Looks like I get. I can reduce some of this stuff here, right? This is one. This becomes. So, what do we get for the x position of the vertex then? Two fifths. Two fifths, very good. Two fifths. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, where you got the five, that's not supposed to be negative one because I thought five was C. I thought the first one was A, or am I confused? Minus B over two A. Oh yeah, what what do you got? What do I put C here? A. Thank you. We, we cut the mistake. Very good. Yeah, you're right. A is A is not five. Let's correct that. Yeah, A should be negative one. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, A is equal to negative one. Let's try it here. A is equal to negative one. So negative one. So x position of the vertex would be equal to two over negative one, right? Do we agree with that? Or negative two. Is that right? Minus no. b over two a. Minus Didn't it be b? negative four over negative two, and then negative. it would equal positive two. I got negative two as well. Okay. Let's look at, look at it one more time. B is equal to negative 4. I would you agree with that? So I'm going to put negative 4 here. A is equal to negative 1. I'll put the negative 1 here. So here it looks to me as I get 4 over plus 4 over negative 2. Right? Even okay. if I don't reduce I it. I forgot that other negative sign. You see that? I'm sorry, I see it. Four, yeah, four over negative two, so you would get negative two. So I can reduce them and then you get negative two. It doesn't matter. So everybody agree that the x position of 
the vertex, if we select the right A, B, and C here, we get negative 2. Right? Okay, so let's make a little chart here. X and Y. If X is equal to negative 2, if X position of the vertex is negative 2, what would be the Y position of that? So remember, F of X is like Y. Y is equal to minus X squared minus 4X plus 5. That's all you have to do is just substitute. Everywhere we see X here, we put negative 2. We square that. So here would be 4, I get a negative 2 here, plus 5. Okay? So what do we get here? Now, negative 2 squared, that give me plus 4. So this would have a minus front of that would be minus 4. This give me plus 8, plus 5. So this would give me minus or, or plus 4 plus 5. So what is y then? Nine, everybody agree with that? Nine? So v of y is equal to 9. So the position of the vertex here must be minus 2 comma 9. So which one is the correct choice, A or C? A. A, right? I don't even, I don't even have to solve for x-intercept or y-intercept here, really, because for the final, if this problem was in the final exam, I could just circle A and move on. But nobody should know how to find the x and y-intercepts, right? Let's take a look at that. To find the y-intercept, you let x equal to 0 and solve for y. If x equal to 0, you see if I, if I let x equal to 0 here, you can clearly see y is equal to 5. So that would be pretty simple. That would be 5. So that's how we get this point here, the y-intercept. And to solve for x-intercept, you let y be equal to 0 and solve for x. If I let uh, y be equal to 0, you basically have to solve this second order equation uh, for x, because you get two cases, right? You have to factor this. And that's how you get these numbers here. It looks like you get a 1 and minus 5 here if you do that. Does that make sense? Can we just see how to find the x-intercept here? You let y be equal to 0. So you have minus x squared minus 4x plus 5 is equal to 0. I can multiply this term by negative with the equation. I'm sorry, what's the question? Question? Okay, now I guess you just had your microphone on. So uh, you can go ahead and multiply some by negative here. Because it's an equation, we can eliminate that minus, uh, so make it easier to factor. So in this case, we get x and x and 1 and 5. Then we want to get plus uh, 4, so it would be plus 5 minus 1. So x is equal to 1, x equal to minus 5. And that's how you get these values here for, for the x-intercept. So you let y be equal to 0 solve for x. You can use the quadratic formula or factor it. Uh, x be equal to 0 solve for y to find the y-intercept. And here you can find the x-intercept. And again, this is a very, very important formula that everybody should write it down right now. V of x equal to minus B over 2A. You just find what's A, what's B, and what's C. Just record that and substitute that into this equation. And you find x position of the vertex. Once you find the x position of the vertex, you plug it back into the equation. You find the y position of the vertex. And that's how you can find the uh, location of the vertex.